Good morning, everyone. So, um, yep, finally got the bed planted. So, um, sorry I didn't do a video of me doing this. Uh, my girlfriend wanted to help out, and breaking out the camera just didn't seem appropriate. So, along the front here, I went ahead and planted some strawberries. Um, these guys right here, I got this from, it's on the bottom of a pizza, so they put a pizza on top of this thing, it's from delivery, for delivery, and, um, I'm using this to help try to protect the seeds from the cats, they step on this thing, they kind of feel weird, and they don't really like it, so, underneath there, all the way across, there's a row of onions, I mean, uh, yeah, green onions, row of, uh, beets, two rows of beets actually, of the multicolor beets, um, also, did I say carrots, <laughs> also a row of carrots are in there, um, planted only three tomatoes in this section, I'm going to do um, 12 tomatoes you know, over on my uh, side section, that's the reason I didn't do too many over here. Every year I end up tend I tend to overcrowd them over here a bit, and some of them always I would say 80% of them do really well, 20% kind of eh, just because it's not enough light. So this is the section that the tomatoes usually always grow the best. So got them right in the prime spot, plenty of space to grow, and I'm um, using this as a separator. Just so I know where my seeds are and what's just soil. Um, also, have this tomato cage here to try to block the cats uh, from digging up the strawberries. <clears throat> Over on this side, I got some peas. So I went ahead and I um, reclaimed this trellis. Someone was throwing it away. I don't get it, people throw away such good stuff. I'm like, oh, it doesn't work anymore. How does it not work anymore? <laughs> whatever uh, over here I got some Chinese uh, cucumbers the long ones apple tree is doing good lots and lots of blossoms alright uh, over in the corner uh, here I have some butternut squash and over here is a, a zucchini it's the kind of thin um, not too long it's a black one kind of blackish dark green zucchini uh, and this square here up to about between each tomato there's some Chinese no, no, I'm sorry, watermelon radishes, which is interesting, they, the picture on the package looks, when they're sliced in half, looks just like a watermelon. And this section over here, these are just, uh, these are Chinese rad, uh, no, Easter, Easter egg radishes. They grow all different colors. So you got the red, you got your yellows, you got your orange. Get your white ones. I don't know. Decided to give them a shot. Somehow I ended up with some seeds. And along the back here is planting some corn. And there's about 12, 18, probably 18, maybe 20 corn. Which is nice. I have some more. I want to plant. Continue. So you, you see there's two rows. I'm going to just continue down that way. Same on the other side. What you doing, monkey? Yep. So that's bed number one planted. <clears throat> Still got a lot more work to go. So I got a lot more plants <laughs> to plant. Oh, and I also uh, I turned in some fresh topsoil. You know, I just push this aside 
and I like to mix in um, I don't use rose soil I don't find it to be sandy enough I use this stuff palm and cactus mix it's very sandy great for drainage and uh, the roses seem to really like it uh, that's what I used when I first turned this soil was I mixed in a bunch of those uh, those bags of uh, sandy soil and they also add uh, bone meal it has a higher nice count of phosphorus in there not too much nitrogen nitrogen is coming from the other feed that I give it but it doesn't have a very high phosphorus and it's not really organic uh, tomatoes and yeah, I see I have a lot of tomatoes <laughs> I gotta get these bad boys in the ground I gotta find places to start planting them I mean, look at this there's a big tomato it's like plant me plant me please this is a black pineapple um, it's a black sea planted a black sea over there as well as a uh, Paul Robson and a chocolate cherry um, well I gotta get the other side set up I need to get that going get some tomatoes finally alright it's uh, March something 23rd, 24th, 25th, March 25th. That's my update. Can't wait. Tomato time. Yeah, buddy. Hey, everyone. Um, since I'm doing a video today, might as well show you guys an update on the um, uh, avocado. It's doing pretty good. Let me get my light on. So today what I'm going to work on is getting these all transplanted. The tomatoes and um, I have a better idea with this what I'm gonna do with this now instead of using my pond liner I'm just gonna put a trash bag in there because I have a trash bag that will fit there I can even double it up and it has drawstring so it can totally like attach itself um, but I pulled this out the other day I don't know if you can see that it's a little bit of white on the tip. Yep. Already got roots. Look at that. Yeah. It's working. This stuff works. Yeah, I'm not going to see them poking out just yet. I don't know if I showed you guys or not, but <clears throat> there's water in here too. When I used hot glue. So that uh, surprising hole. So just a little bit of water. You can see it just barely touches. It's barely contacting the grow plugs. I need to get some water in here too. I mean, all this is dried out, but it's alright. I'm gonna transplant all that today, so get it outside. There's one other thing I need to show you guys. Just comparison. I was just watching the previous video I just made. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit under the weather. That's why. Right. Don't sound so great. So this is what they started off as. This is how about this one over here? baby <laughs> and big old daddy alright <laughs> so Rut Rutgers Red still have some more tomatoes down here looks like they need some water too stop being neglectful water your damn plants alright and it is the 25th I double checked that alright Oh, what other thing? If anyone has any suggestions or information on how to grow plumeria, um, please pass it on. 
I don't know. Someone just gave it to me, and I don't know why they planted it this way. Kind of weird. They just gave them to me, which is cool. I'm happy to have them. <clears throat> They're pretty once they bloom, but I'm not really sure how they work. Alright. Peace out.